for the opportunity that you give me to finish some of the goals that I have established for this organization. We haven't succeeded in all of our goals. There's nothing wrong with establishing a goal and falling short. The danger is having no goals at all. We have grown in some very difficult times not as rapidly as we would like, not accomplishing all the things that you wanted nor we wanted. But I want to remind you of some of the other efforts of farmers to survive during these very difficult times in their organizations. I hesitate to announce some of the things that are happening, but just a couple. As you know, one of the largest farmer cooperatives in the United States lost some $62 million last year. One of the major four farm organizations is closing its national office in this city. There will be some winding down and there will be a few things that they have to take care of. But because of some very difficult times and availability as of money, they fell on some very unfortunate circumstance. Your organization is sound. It's sounder today than it's ever been. Not that we have solved all the problems, people. But we have our debt in a manageable position. And we are liquidating that debt as rapidly as we can so that we may better serve you. We have a responsibility to each other, not only to the organization. I wasn't concerned about what would happen to Devon Woodland after this election. What I was concerned about was what would happen to the National Farmers Organization. No man, regardless of whom he might be, can cause this organization to be successful with 50% of your help, 60%, 70, 80, 90, 95. I must have 100%. We must have 100%. The story is often told but about the person who participates in a program and one who totally commits themselves to the program. I've heard the story is you, but to refresh it in your mind, if you had bacon and eggs this morning for breakfast, that hen participated and that hog, he totally committed himself. And I must have total commitment from you. Thank you, and I appreciate that confidence and that vote, and we together will accomplish the goals that I've established and that we will establish as new goals when we accomplish the old. Thank you very much. It was a privilege to have been asked by so many people 
the faith you had in me. And by the vote, many of you really had a lot of faith in me. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And we have to make this organization go. My only effort in running was to build. I believed that before, and I still believe it today. There's only one organization that really stands up for the farmers and ranchers in this country and that can really get them a price, and that's the National Farmers Organization. And I'm as proud as ever to be a member of this organization, and I hope that all of you do stand behind Devon Woodland and the leadership of this organization, and we will win. Thank you. Convention. I have never seen a group of more determined people than we have here now. And they seem to be glutton for punishment. Most of you were here at 3.30, 4 o'clock this morning, and you've gone through without a break for lunch, and you're still here. You came through the snow and the storm for hundreds, perhaps thousands of miles, and it's just nothing but short of uh, a miracle that you have and we have that type of determination and dedication. Now, let me caution you on two or three things. We talk about the democratic process in the organization, which is extremely important, and we must take and uh, preserve it. We may s must see that we participate in that process, but there's also dangers in it. And some of the dangers that make us unique from the normal democratic process that we look at in the nation is, you know, if you are a Republican and a Democratic president gets nominated, you still have to pay your taxes. You still operate within the system. You still have that individual and you operate within the system of government. Now, the thing that's different in NFO, if you so choose, if you're unsuccessful, you can go home and that's the last we hear. You don't have to pay any dues. You don't have to participate in the programs. And so knowing that you won't do that, there is danger in that liberal degree of democracy that we do have. But I think we're wise enough not to abuse it. We're wise enough to understand the dangers in it. And we will still participate in this system as we do in the government of this country and that is we will pay our dues and we will participate in the programs and we will build those programs to make this group stronger next year than it is this year. <clears throat> There's something about NFO. It's a humanitarian movement, I suppose. It's a people organization. It's a cause. And I think perhaps the clearest example of that and our concern for fellow men I know when I watch a football game or I watch any type of activity, I may not know either team, but when I choose one, it's always the underdog. I'm always hoping the guy that's on the bottom is going to win. And I suppose that we as farmers and humanitarians, if you will, we are looking out for each other and others that we feel may be less fortunate than ourselves. Now, a typical example was the Food for Poland project. Now, that was uh, an outstanding effort on the behalf of the members of this organization. Since that time, we have had groups of people and organizations call us and ask us how it was handled and how it was done, and if we would come and give them some direction on how it was carried out, how we were able to get those hundreds of thousands of pounds of commodities put together, how we organized it in the country and centralized it and made it available to move. Well, you know how it was done. Sure you do, because you done it. We had the idea, we explained the idea to you, and you went ahead and done it. And so when those people call us, I just simply say, well, you know, you got to have good people. You got to have the right people. 
If you got that, it'll work. Now we, by nature, over the years, have always been looking for uh, someone to kick uh, if we don't like what they have said or done. We become extremely critical sometimes of people who disagree. Now they have a right to a difference of opinion, and we have the responsibility to let them know what our opinion is. And we do do that. And you remember just, I think it was day before yesterday when the president signed the dairy bill? Well, the next day I sent him a telegram. And I want to read the telegram that I sent to the president. President Reagan, White House, Washington, D.C. Mr. President, the members of the National Farmers Organization expresses their appreciation for your approval of the long pending dairy bill. It is a step in the right direction. Cooperation between producers and government eventually can get us out of a very difficult situation. Thank you, Mr. President, for that signature. Signed, Devon Woodland, President of the National Farmers Organization, Corning, Iowa. <clears throat> we have to recognize those who are attempting in the way which they can to help in our efforts help us to protect you as producers and move closer toward our goal. Now you're going to be driving home. You're going to be anxious to get there. You've been away a long time. The roads are slick. Drive carefully. We need you here next year. Be careful on your way home. Microphone. <coughs> we'll turn the time back to the chairman of the election and tally. First of all, before I announce the vote, I want to thank the members of the Election and Tally Committee for all the hard work that they put in, and believe me, it was. I'd also like to thank the, the staff personnel that were here to assist us. I'm, I'm sure the total committee would now agree with us that it would be pretty hard to get along without them. Uh, so, I wish to thank, thank you for that. This will be the last of my duties to announce to you that Mr. Rick Avila is your new Vice President. meetings or so, I, I've never been speechless in my life. From the bottom of my heart, I wish to thank the delegates of this convention. The theme as we leave this convention, I think was keynoted this morning by one of our speakers. We don't use that word very often in the National Farmers Organization, but I think we can embed that in our memories, and that is solidarity. Solidarity of purpose to the goals that we have established. I will do everything in my part that I possibly can to further the goals that you have established and set forth in this organization. Thank you very much.